boys and girls, I just thought I would do a little video for you today, not only for my children in yellow class at the moment, but for the children in red class who are going to be joining me in September as they move to year one, which is so exciting. But I know that sometimes it can be a little bit nerve wracking and a bit scary to move year groups. And I know my class are feeling a little bit um, worried about moving to year two, as red class might be feeling a little bit worried to come up into year one as well. So I thought I would do a story for both classes that might relate to how you're feeling. And it's called the cautious caterpillar. So I hope you're showing me some brilliant listening and get ready for the story of the cautious caterpillar. It was springtime in the garden. Cody the caterpillar hatched from her egg and crawled onto a big green leaf. She smiled happily. I love being a caterpillar, she said, and she began to eat her tasty leaf. Just then, a ladybird flew over. You're very lucky, said the ladybird. When you become a butterfly, you will have wings just like me. Ooh, flying looks very tiring, said Cody. I wish I could stay a caterpillar forever. Don't worry, said the ladybird. Having wings is great. You can always stop for a rest. Cody smiled, but didn't feel sure. Hmm, maybe one day, she said. She carried on eating and the ladybird flew away. The next day, a bee buzzed on over. You're so lucky, said the bee. When you become a butterfly, you will sip nectar just like me. Oh, I don't think I will like the nectar, said Cody. I wish I could stay a caterpillar forever. Don't worry, said the bee. Drinking nectar is great. It's ever so yummy. Cody smiled, but didn't feel too sure. Hmm, maybe one day, she said. She carried on eating and the bee buzzed away. A few days later, a grasshopper jumped on over. You're very lucky, said the grasshopper. When you become a butterfly, you will have six legs like me. But I like having 16 legs, said Cody. I wish I could stay a caterpillar forever. worry, said the grasshopper. Having six legs is great. That's plenty for landing on the ground. Cody smiled, but he didn't feel too sure. Maybe one day, she said. She carried on eating and the grasshopper jumped away. The next day, Cody was full. She thought about everything that her friend had told her and decided to be brave. Maybe today, she said, as she changed herself into a chrysalis. She stayed like that for many days until she finally ready to leave her chrysalis. And become a butterfly. Cody explored the garden, feeling happy and proud of her wings. Having wings is great, she said, as she flew past the ladybird. This is yummy, she said to the bee. As they sipped the nectar together. Six legs is plenty, said Cody, as she landed next to the grasshopper.
that evening, she came across a caterpillar eating a tasty green leaf. You're very lucky, said Cody. When you have finished eating, you will be a butterfly just like me. The caterpillar smiled, but didn't look sure. I wish I could stay a caterpillar forever, he said. Don't worry, said Cody. I loved being a caterpillar too, but trust me, being a butterfly is still great. And that's the end of the story. So some of you might be at home and feeling like you like being a caterpillar, you like the class you're in at the moment, you like all your teachers and you like your classroom and you might feel not quite ready yet for change. But in September, I promise you, when you go into your new classroom and see your new teacher with a big smiley face, you will be ready to change into a butterfly too and you will be ready to say hello to your new classroom and your new teacher and they will be just excited as you are and i'm so excited to meet my new class in september but i'm also going to be still there for all those who are in my class at the moment i will still be there giving you a big smile and a big wave and we'll still be able to see each other so I hope that story makes you feel a little bit better about changing and about going into your new classroom. And for Red Class, thank you for listening and I'll see you all in September. How exciting. And for Yellow Class, I hope you have a great summer and I'll also see you in September, but just in a different classroom. See you soon. Bye.